Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over candlestick patterns. We're going to talk about how I identify market structure, how I identify if the chart is bullish or bearish, whether to look for longs or shorts, and then also go into depth and detail to identify all the different types of candlesticks so we fully understand if we should be confident in looking for a re potential reversal or if we should have more caution. So if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit the subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. If you trade that, you'll want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned and lots of pain. But over time, I became more consistent and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We have NASDAQ on the five minute chart currently showing market structure. And this is bearish market structure. Why is this bearish market structure? Because we have a high we have a lower low we took out the most recent lows to the left and then we came up and made another lower high and another lower low and now we're pushing up and we can we could potentially argue that we are bullish because we rallied sold off got some buying pressure and made another higher high but in the grand scheme we're still under this swing high uh, we can only scalp longs for retracement into the clean price action to the left but until we really get above that 16,132, we're bearish on the five minutes. To identify if we wanna look for longs or shorts, we wanna go by swing highs and swing lows, most recent swing highs and most recent swing lows. And when we, how we identify a swing high is if there is a high and then the candle to the left and the candle to the right are both lower highs than that candle. So you can see this candle right here at 10.55 is a high. On the left, it's a lower high. On the right, it's a lower high. Same idea here. 10.30, there's a high. On the left, there is a lower high. On the right, there's a lower high. Because of that, this is a swing high. So once we broke that swing high, we could say we're bearish. But overall, this is a ton of selling pressure, so we're still under the high to the left. So overall, you could still say we're bearish. But on the short term, you could say we're bullish here, and you could have taken a long. If this candle closed better and had some buying on it, we could take a long here and target the highs again because it came down to the support. There was some buying, we could take the long. But there wasn't, so we didn't. So now, same thing with swing lows. We were bullish, we were bullish, we were bullish. This is the most recent swing low. Sold off, took out that low. Ever since we took out that low, we were bearish. Why? Because this low, to the left of it, is a higher low. To the right of it is a higher low. So in the five minute chart, this is the highest swing low before we took it out. Once we took out that swing low, we became bearish. So bearish market structure is when there is a high, there's a low, there's a lower high and a lower low. That's when we're bearish and we are then looking for shorts for new lows. Bullish market structure is when we push up, we pull back, we make a higher low and we push up again, we make a higher high. This is when we're bullish and we wanna look for a pullback to get in a long to target the high again. So same thing when we're bearish here, we don't want to short right here. We want to wait for us to retrace. Then we can short for a good risk reward, put the stop above the most recent important swing high and the target again below the next low. That's how I identify bullish and bearish market structure. Now let's go into some examples here on the five minutes before I talk about the specific candlesticks. If we look here, there was no shorts because I would want us to come into resistance to the left before I took a short. Uh, we haven't done that yet. So we have to go back and look back to yesterday. It's best to look at yesterday's trading day. You can see in the five minute here, I took some trades on the five minute and this is where we have uh, bullish and bearish market structure. So this one was an early trade. I took this based on the smaller time frames, So we have to ignore that one, but this is very obvious. So basically pushed up, we had a high came down, took out the low to the left, so we're bearish. So we could have shorted this this right here. Why? Because we came up to resistance to the left and had a rejection. We could have shorted on this candle close and targeted a new low. Then our, our stop would be above that high. The reason why this is a valid trade is because this is the most important swing low. We pushed up only into resistance to the left, so we're still bearish, came down, made a higher low, but then pushed up again. So this candle meant we were bullish. So we would look for a long, but we can't look for a long or get in a long until we pull back and we see some buying. Here, we could not get in a long. 
because this wasn't a big enough pullback. We need to pull back to the support to the left. By the time it pulled back to the support to the left, it actually went below the most recent swing low. So this candle made us now bearish. So we look for shorts, but we don't short here. When do we short? We short when price trades into resistance to the left and then closes with the rejection candle. Now a rejection candle is when there's a, a big wick on it. So this is a rejection candle because we pushed up, but then we closed back down because if there was no rejection, we would have closed up here. So because there was a re rejection, we could have gotten a short, put our stop above that wick or above all of the swing high. So we could put it above, above here, but that's not a good risk or reward ratio. So after this rejection, we could put the stop above there and target new lows. Why do we target new lows? Because once we switch to bearish market structure, that means that we are going for new lows. The market structure is going for lower lows and lower highs. So assuming that, that would then mean this was a lower high and we would then target the lower low. We did that, that's plus 19 points. One contract plus 19 points would be $400. Two contracts would be $800. So it's an $800 trade if you do two contracts and you have a small account uh, in the matter of uh, 15 minutes. So that is one trade. The next trade would be when we took the long over here. Here is something I wanted to just make note of, right? We can't take any trades because we're chopping around, we're still bearish, right? We can't take any trades. We push up above this swing high. We're bullish. We don't get along here. We don't get along here. We wait here because why? Because this wick came all the way down, filled all the price to the left, and then closed up with a, re a re reversal candle to the upside. So this is a reversal candle. This is a candle I'm looking for if we are in a bullish market structure. So anytime we're in a bullish market structure, this is a massive rejection pushing back up to the upside. So if we are making higher highs and higher lows, and then you have a candle that trades all the way down to support to the left, but closes all the way back up. I like to take that long, put my stop below that low, because that's most likely the higher swing low, and the target is new highs to the left. So this is a massive trade, this is plus 35 points, stop was, plus, uh, stop was 19 points, and it went to new highs, and you're done. Home for lunch, right? Two trades in the morning, very good trades, and you're done for the day. If this wasn't too close to the market close, this would be a beautiful long. Why? Because this is a low, this is a high, this is a higher low, this is a higher high, this is a higher low, and we pushed up again. So here's a clear example of how we can see bullish market structure. If we can understand that once we take out swing highs to the left, we are most likely bullish we say, what's the next target? Another higher high because the trend in the market structure is clearly seeking higher highs. Now, of course, it can tr it can change on you and become a lower high and then push back down. But there's a much higher probability in us taking trades with the market structure. And the market structure just means higher highs, higher lows equals bullish. Lower highs, lower lows equals bearish. So when we see the lower high, lower low, we're focused on shorts, targeting new lows. When we see the higher high and the higher low, we're focused on longs targeting new highs. And going hand in hand with that, we wanna look for reversal candles after a pullback if we are looking for longs. And what do reversal candles look like? This right here and this right here. Now they can be green, they can be red, but it shows a lot of buying. It shows a lot of buying because there's a wick on the bottom. On, on, on wicks on the top here shows a lot of selling, so it's showing a lot of selling, uh, a lot of selling pressure, a lot of rejection. Like you don't want to take any longs because it looks like they're going to push it down. Until we got this candle right here, this one gave confidence in us longing for new highs to the left, which I took yesterday at about 2:30 p.m. Another trade would be right here. There's no good trade here because we want to wait for price to fall back to support to the left. And this one you could say is a good reversal candle, but it didn't fall to price to the left. This, you know, we could say it came down pretty good, but there's a rejection candle, rejection candle. Then this is a reversal candle because it came all the way down to support to the left, had buying pushing it back up, it closed near where it opened. Get in along there, target the new highs, stop below that low, it hit again. That's gonna conclude this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciated it and subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll post two videos a week, one on market analysis and one coaching you to become a more consistent profitable trader, going over the trades that I personally take. Look out for my next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. and I'll see you in the next video.